Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Psycho Scene Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing at the upcoming new album by the one and only Black Dahlia Murder named Verminous, which is the follow-up to Ever Black and I think it's called Aftermath or something like that. I did listen to those albums. Um, see, my relationship with uh, Black Dahlia Murder as a band has only really come into uh, the fore in the last few years because I listened to them back in the early 2000s or mid 2000s I think it was whenever they released the uh, Miasma album and I didn't really get on with that album that much I thought it was alright but I didn't think it was amazing didn't really bother with the band again until um, a few years ago when I picked up Everblack and I absolutely loved Everblack and Nightbringers that was the other one I was thinking of and um, both those albums absolutely blew several pairs of my socks and trousers off um, because they were absolutely brutal clinical with a very, very nice touch of old school death metal as well, which I am rather the fan of. Uh, so we come to the new album, Verminous, uh, which is out on the 17th of April on uh, Nuclear, not Nuclear Plus, sorry, Metal Blade Records, which I believe is this Friday, as of the recording of this. Um, and it's got pretty much everything you would want from a Black Dahlia Murder record. Um, it's got it's got the brutality in there. It's got the old school style riffs. There's a couple of different things in there. There's a slight um, melodic death metal feel to a lot of the songs, and we open up well on the album um, with the song Verminous itself, one of the best songs on the album. And uh, it's got the usual lyrics of gore and horror and everything, everything you would want from an awesome death metal album. And there's a couple of slightly lesser songs on the album that slightly drag it down a bit and kind of just. Don't so much get boring as slightly drift into background music for me personally. But um, yeah, I mean, the band's playing on top form here. They always do. Um, and Trevor Sternad, um, his vocals go from the usual sort of low, deathly growls to um, a more melodic death metal approach to even um, a few moments where he sounds very much like the lead singer of At The Gates, whose name currently escapes me. I'm sorry, you... Well, I'll do these reviews, I must sound like the most forgetful person in the world. Anyway, um, now the big question is, is this as good as Nightbringers and Everblack? Um, no, no. Uh, I've got to say, for me personally, I think those albums kind of were very much high points for the band. Like, And every band has its high points, and then it's obviously going to be a slight decline every now and again. Not in a bad way, but you know, you can't you can't come up with absolute solid gold with every album. Um, and throughout this album, the players top notch, um, the size top notch. Um, uh, there's even a couple of songs with a bit of old school deftly groove to it, which um, I was very much a uh, fan of as well. I think it's more my own personal taste. Um, I'm very picky when it comes to my sort of melodic death metal touches and uh, maybe it was just some of them coming into some of the sound um on this album as opposed to being straight up sort of death metal for me that um slightly put me off because a lot of melodic death metal really really bores me um but yeah um when it comes to it, it's all all in all it's a very very good album not their best um if you're a newcomer to the band and you do like your death metal i would say Check out Everblack or Nightbringers for definite before you check this album out. Um, and when I keep saying so, when I keep saying melodic death metal, don't worry, there is no clean vocals on this. None of that shit happens. Um, because, you know, that just completely destroy the mystique, as it were, around the Black Dahlia Murder sound. So all in all, another really, really good, very solid album by Black Dahlia Murder. It gets four out of five from me. John 